Hi friends! Today we are going to draw a cat. A little cat. Okay, uh, let's begin uh, drawing the center, the middle of the face of the cat. It uh, will, uh, will be our guide for the rest uh, of the drawing. Okay, a little more here and here. Now let's begin with the eyes, with the sockets of the eyes. Very careful, this 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 place. This is one in the one place. It must be very very well designed, because the eyes call the attention of the viewer more than anything else. Now the pupils, the characteristic pupils of a cat. Okay, and let's begin to draw the face. As you see, I, I'm not making any continual line at all. I make short lines all the time. Why? Uh, it is because uh, a cat is a is an animal full of hair. It's a fluffy animal, and with continual lines, we can we are risking to suggest the animal has no hair. But with this continuum, uh, with short lines, we assure that we are suggesting the animal is full of hair. Now the characteristic nose of a cat, you see, it's a little strange but it is in this way, and the mouth. Now I'm using a 2B pencil, okay? For me this is the best pencil to begin a drawing, the, the sketch, because it is uh, easy to erase because it is soft uh, and it is better for me uh, to begin a drawing than the HB pencil. Okay, I erase something here and make the ears. Let's begin with the body of the cat. Today we are going to use a uh, three kind, three types of pencils. Uh, this is the 2B pencil. After this, we'll use an 8B pencil. And then, to to end the drawing, we'll use the 4H pencil. The H uh, pencils are not uh, used frequently in artistic drawing, but I'll show you how this pencil can be very useful in realistic drawing. Okay, now with the brass, we uh, we blur the lines, okay, but not the eyes. Don't touch the eyes at all, no, and, and, the, and the nose. Okay. I don't desire any line defined, but in these places to call the attention. And with a gum eraser, you see, I take the excess of graphite and give lights. In other words, I remove the grays and the blacks uh, come alive. Okay, giving lights to obtain a 3D, uh, a 3D effect in our drawings, we must assure there are lights and shadows. Erasers are not only to erase, but are a drawing tool too. Okay, 
This is the 8B pencil. I'll use it to draw the darker areas of the drawing. Very careful, because this uh, pencil is soft and its lines, its lines mark a lot. Okay. The 8B pencil is so dark that it is almost uh, as dark as charcoal pencil. Okay. Mark the light, the reflect of the light in the pupil. Do you see? It is important, this reflect. Okay. And now I mark the other darker areas in the drawing. As you see, uh, I'll, I'll make a resume. First of all, we'll begin our sketch with a neutral pencil. It may be an HB or a 2B pencil. I prefer 2B, but you can use whatever you uh, prefer. Then, when our sketch is full, it's completed, we uh, will use a brush, a brush to uh, dilute and to blur the excess of lines. After that, we give lights with the eraser. And then we make the darks, the real darks, with an HB, or if you have not an HB, you can use a 6B pencil too. And after that, you'll see, I'll use the 4HB pencil. Okay? As you see, I don't paint all the hairs of the animal. I only suggest with short lines uh, that it is there, that it is all full of hair. You can't, uh, you can't draw all the hairs of the animal. You must only suggest. Okay, the nose. And the dark places in the nostrils. Uh huh. Little more here. As you can see, uh, you can see um, as I give more dark areas, the the cat, the our dragon, is uh, is taking more more character more realistic character. It's very important in our in your drawings that uh, that you may assure full range full range of contrast with whites and blacks in the correct places because it gives interest to your drawing. Okay? <laughs> this cat uh, is really, really um, similar to a, a little cat I had I, uh, some years ago. And she, because that cat was a, a female, she used to... to lay like this cat all the time under the heat of the heater <laughs> okay I'll use the the brass again after that to blur the excess of lines it is easy with an 8 pencil, because it is very soft, to uh, blur its lines. In shadows, important shadows. Okay. Little more here. 
here. This video, as you see, is uh, is more uh, at the speed. Uh, it is twice the normal speed. Uh, I'll uh, it take me thirty two minutes to make this drawing. I have uh, I haven't cut any part of the drawing because you can see it uh, in full. Only it is a little uh, faster, uh, twice faster than I made it. Okay, as you see, I use I use again the brass and the grays. The grays are now uh, blurred, but again, don't blur the face of the cat and the eyes. Don't touch them at all with the brush. I'll recover the lights that I lost with the brush very carefully to not erase anything you don't want to erase. These gum erasers are very useful. Now another plane. This is the 4H 4H pencil. As you see, it paint very, very soft, very clear, very light. And it it is used to give details in animals like this with with hair. It is very useful. Okay. You see? It diffuminates the light, the lines of the HB pencil. Okay, more, more needed. You see it? Better now? Now I am giving details. As you see, I begin all my drawings with no detail at all and I uh, I'm going uh, step by step giving more and more details achieving more realistic effort as the the drawing goes forward now okay the leg more hair here for I really love cats. They are a <laughs> very, very cool pets. Now I have a, cat, a dog, and some time ago I have a cat, and I have had uh, any kind of pets. I love animals, as you see. Okay, now cross, cross the lines you made before. Use this pencil to give the effect of fur. Okay, <coughs> more and more. Okay, but in this way. What do you think? Do you like it? I made uh, many different, um, many different um, animal drawing tutorial. Do you do you want any only, oh, any other kind of tutorials I, that I made? Please suggest. You can find me on Facebook, uh, on my blog. You can find me in at my website retratarte.org. But you can see those those links uh, 
in the comments. Okay, now we give with the H with the HB pencil, we mark the shadow that the cat projects on the surface he is laying, because he is not uh, in the air, he is laying on a surface in this in this play in this time over the bed. It is important. You can give more details if you want, but for a tutorial, a short and fast tutorial, I think it is enough and you can see the technique and you can use it. What do you think? Please comment. Okay, do you like it? Bye!